So I'm super excited to reunite with you. I haven't seen you since X Factor. Um, so one of the original interviews that we've been doing. So Rob with Front Row Live, good to see you again. I'm so excited to see you. Uh, so, you know, how excited are you about this kind of event celebrating tonight? I, this is so, um, you know, this is so exciting for me. I mean, I came in my tongue in a tire. So it was my first time ever. You know, I've been on so many red carpets with that, within my career for like, what, eight, ten years. So for this to be my first time, like, making tribute to my ancestors and to my family, it feels so good to represent them on a Hollywood platform. So, yeah, it's really exciting. I'm glad to be here. It's like definitely an interesting world that we're in now that we get to represent like our actual cultures, right? Exactly, and I think that's what I also am tapping into within my music. Um, I'm about to drop music soon, so this is me paying tribute again to my truth and who I am, and that I think that's what makes me unique and me just staying authentic to myself and to my truth. So, amazing because fans to hear it and stay tuned. You did say Miss the Spot felt like home, so you know as you. I've been a fan of yours since since the beginning. So since uh, you know, since you said that was that felt like home. Like moving forward, now that you get to bring your culture a little bit more uh, into your new material, what can fans look forward to, and how different is it this time around? I think the difference is that I'm really this time around. I'm tapping into, like I said, my truth, and I think that's what will make the fans so will connect to me even more because this is my background and I used to shy away from it so much. Um, within my career I've always been told like I've always been asked oh are you black are you Latina and to finally say it out loud that no I'm a Polynesian woman I'm so glad that I'm actually saying it out loud with with confidence and not turning the other cheek because I know we come from such a small island so coming from such a minority um, I would just play around and just go along with them like okay yeah I could be anything you want but now I'm not playing around with it no more and within the music like I said I just want to tap into my truth and my background um, yeah my culture background and where I come from Santa Ana California so shout out to all the brown skin girls out there all my Polynesian girls if I can do it so can you let's go that was J.R. Roten, also a producer on this new material. Are you working with a new producer? I have. I actually reconnected with him recently. I am still recording, actually. So hopefully uh, me and him reconnect really soon. It's been two years since I haven't dropped any music, any material. So just resetting myself was such a blessing in disguise. Um, it was bittersweet, but I'm so glad it happened. There was a reason why it happened. And um, it was just a point for me to just dive into the woman that I was always meant to be, this Polynesian girl. So. I'm so excited for your new music. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, something for 2023, like early 2023. Like, what can fans look forward to? Damn. Okay. That's a tough question. I sing soon to them. That's like, I, I always say soon. But this time, for real, I just want to say, what they can accept, what they can expect this time around is just new material. Um, maybe some new music soon. I'll probably start hinting something, so stay tuned. I know, thank you for being patient with me, I'm sorry, but your girl's been working really hard and she just wants this to be perfect. And yeah, I love you guys. Thank you.